In this video, we will learn about reference geometry. Here you can see in the feature commands reference geometry. And when you click the down arrow, you will see plane, axis, coordinate system, point, center of mass, bounding box, and mid reference. So it includes under the reference geometry, which is very important in order to work in 3D modeling. So how to create plane, axis, and different things, okay? So we can go like features and you will find reference geometry from here or else you can just go to insert and here you will find reference geometry. In this reference geometry we are see all all things are there what what includes in a reference geometry. So let's understand one by one. So how to create plane? So I have created this model as some points as for reference. So let us start from the beginning, go to the plane, uh, under reference geometry, click plane. Okay. And here asking first reference, second reference, or third reference. They are third reference and by using this third reference, we can create the plane. So once we click the face here, so once we click the face, you, ca you, you can see the uh, plane is blue and here you can see fully defined. It means no longer we need for re second reference and third reference. Means by using only one plane, we can create the plane. And here is the offset you can see. By default, here is a 30 mm. And we can increase the plane here from here. And you can see the shift offset because I have clicked this plane and it is created this side, left side. You can see. Once we click the shift offset, it will create from the plane. I have selected this plane and it will create the right side from this plane. And we can give how much you know offset we need, how much distance from the from this plane we can need we need we can create. Here you can see uh, here is given number of planes. So how many planes do you want to create? See, so we can give you know, you know how how many we need we can just add here. We can create easy, right? And so this is the way to create the plane. Here you can see the mid plane. Once once we click this, so it needs you know once we click this, in it needs at least two reference plane so that it will create the mid plane. So I have created our uh, one plane is already I have mentioned here. Second, if I will mention here, so automatically you can see from this two plane here is the mid plane. So the mid plane this reference is created already here. So this is the way to create the planes. And here you can see there are some relations also are there like parallel, perpendicular, coincidence. So once we click this, because already this is parallel, you know, according to these two planes, it's already parallel. That's why it's showing now red color because it's overdefined. Currently combination of reference and constants are not valid. So we cannot give this. Even the perpendicular or some angles we, we cannot keep. So let's go back and create again plane. Create this automatic by using this uh, dimension. It is created. Just click yes. Now I have created one plane. Here is the one plane. Okay. Again go back plane and create this line. Just select this line. And once we click this line, it will ask some other reference line also a line or point something just click this point okay so according to this line and this point one plane is created again just click this point so by using these two points and this line it is very difficult to create the plane so what can you do you know uh, we can select the plane like this go back plane and just click this line this point and this point so again it is showing like wrong it is you cannot create by using this so if we click this again it will show wrong so anyhow once we created the plane we have to check it must be fully defined so only we can create the planes plane mm. 
this uh, this plane I have just selected and just click this two line more so according to this we can create the plane and if you want to give some relationship we can give some relationship also and if you want to create some angle if you want to give some angle we can give some angle by using this two line see I have given angle so according to this we can uh, give some angles also of this plane right go back again plane because plane uh, how to create plane it is very important you know in order to make the sketch from the plane so now we just see once we click it was all already this plane is selected so by using this plane we can create more plane also okay so but we don't want this plane just click yes yeah, this one click this point okay once we click this point um, the reference you can see yellow color uh, by using this one we can create like this but I want to select one more lines okay so one plane one angle one point and one lines by using two reference we can create this plane flip normal down up so this is the way to create the plane now just go back and uh, I want to delete this angle this plane okay and this plane okay all right now just go the axis just click the axis and we can curate the axis on line or edge or axis just click this arc or this plane according to this plane the axis will be create because I have selected you know here it is selected cylindrical conical face so once we uh, click the cylindrical face according to this the center of this cylindrical or conical the axis will be create once we click this okay then it will ask one line we can give one line any line so axis will be create here Okay, mm, line or edges we can give some edges X will be create okay. two planes so here is asking two planes so by using two plane we can create the axis like this plane and this plane by using these two planes see the axis is created or if you want to give two plane uh, from this like this is the front this is the top so by using this two front and top the axis will be created here I'll just go and clear selection again we select this top plane and right plane so here you can see I have selected two plane and the intersection of this two plane the axis is created see here it is so by using this we can create the axis with two planes here is the given two points or vertices so by using this uh, once we select this, uh, we can we have to select two points at least. So I have selected this this point, and just try to select this point. So see, by using this two point, I can create the axis. Our uh, two vertices, we can give two vertices. We can create axis cylindrical. Uh, we have already shown. Here is the option like point and faces. So we have to select for this one point one faces by using this I can create the axis see or here is I have mentioned some points so just go back and clear selection here is a selection for point and face of plane just select this plane and click this point see by using this plane and point the axis is created so what is the use of axis by using this axis we can use some features like you know revolve swept systems or we can sketch something so it is very important now just go back and understand the coordinate system so here you can see there's two coordinate system already there one is here okay XYZ reference coordinate systems 
and one is already the origin so now I will enter the coordinate system just click the coordinate system and here you can see the coordinate system here is created just I have to mention the x axis uh, once we click this this one x axis y axis here so automatically it will be adjust with x axis and y axis and z axis will be lower side so this is the way to create the coordinate axis and here is asking where is the origin okay where you want to give the axis if we can give the origin any point okay can give I have created a coordinate system here and this coordinate system is very important in order to uh, find mass or something like Here is the mass properties here, and here is given center of mass x, y, and z. Okay, we, if we change the coordinate system, see by default here is the coordinate system. But I have newly created coordinate system. Once we click this, eh, and from this coordinate system, what is the center of mass or some other values are there? We can easy to find out. Okay, so this is the way to mm, mm, create coordinate systems. Now, just go back and uh, here is the point so you know from this reference geometry we can create the point here any point you can see arc center just click the arc center I have to click uh, this arc so by using this arc we can create the point here you can see this is the arc sorry this is the point from the center of this we can create any any plane we can select it and from this plane the center the center of this plane the point will be create intersection means we need at least two intersection point in our intersection line so we can create the uh, point projection some projection is asked okay. so we can create point from this projection on point on point means so if we keep the point from the points so we can create the point here is the here is it, this is very important you know so this is the like once we click the line okay in line if you want to create the points how many points you want to create you just select here according to distance the distance is 10 mm so the point the distance between di these two point is 10 mm we can increase or decrease here also and by using percentage by using evenly distributed we can easy to create the points now in center of mass so once we select this uh, so this body have center of mass you know so, so here is the center of mass okay so we can create the center of mass also here now the bounding box here you can see uh, if you want to see the whole box okay because this is the you know cutted part cut part of this solid if you want to see the whole part so just uh, select the body and it will automatically automatically take and include hidden body include surface show preview and just click you can see here is the bounding box is created here so once we understand yes okay the b box is there solid box is there and that here is the cutted part and you can see this line means total bounded box is locating like this and according to this by using this line or you know this coordinate system we can create some lines or some points we can sketch something okay this is actually the identification here is the main thing you know reference geometry it is like reference so we are giving the reference on geometry so according to this reference we can model and we can sketch something else now here you can see the met reference what is this met reference so actually this met system is we used in uh, assembly point so if you want to create if you want to understand or if you want to give some mate relation here before the assembly you can give 
like this plane and here is the mesh met you know you can give here met reference type tangent it is tangent con coincidence parallel you can uh, here you can give something so once we you go after giving this reference met and one and then after then once we go into the assembly then you know these whole things will be appear there and according to this we can easily to make the relation some met with different parts so this is the way to create the met reference okay now from here you can see all we have already know all we have discussed here now just go to the insert and here you can see some more features are there like live section plane once we click this and try to clean any plane once we click this plane and this is the live you know how to create plane live so he, here the tripod will be appear and by using this we can create the plane so here we can just we can mention here we cannot give any value but we can by using this okay, reference we can give we can just um, create the plane that's it so you see here is we have created so we can customize uh, we can create what kind of plane you want okay. so this is the way to create now just go to the insert reference geometry and uh, here is here one more thing is like grid system just click grid system now I want to click this plane once we uh, click the grid system it will ask any plane for a sketch I want I want this plane once we click this plane just go to the normal two and try to sketch something what you want to sketch okay like parameters it will ask you okay just okay and once we click any sketch see I have created one sketch and it will ask now grid system like level parameters how many number you want parameters here you can mention the distance is 500 I want to keep distance between this 100 okay once you see the distance between this and here is the one more like mm, here is like a pattern you know I have created this hexagonal and by using this I want four number of levels and in that pattern the distance between these two hexagonal the distance between these two hexagonal is 100 mm and the height will be 100 100 100 okay and here is the given like 3d scale split so I don't want to split lines okay we just click yes here you can see four hexagonal is created now by using this here you can see how it would look like and uh, see sketch one sketch two so by using this we can easy to create you know uh, many sketches in one times now by using this sketch you know once we click this uh, and you can see here some is some feature is deactivated it means we cannot use these features on this body but we can use these things okay like lobster boss we just click this and you know we have to select by using this go to the grid systems and just select this see this and we can easy to create the loft just click yes see how we have created the loft so this is the way to use grid system